Hi guys, welcome back to Wilted Beard Reviews, and welcome back to What's On Your Poll. It's the weekly show where we talk about everyone's favorite day of the week, not Friday, it's New Comic Book Day, otherwise known as Wednesday to all the normal folks out there. The day where we all go to our local comic shop, pick up our books for the week, their registers are in the black, our wallets are in the red, and we all get a little thing to re some things to read for the rest of the week. Now, I've got some books on my poll list that I'm super excited about this week, but like every week, I want to know what's on your poll list first. And that's especially true this week, as I only have three comics on my list this week. Now, all three of them look like they're going to be absolutely fantastic, but I can tell you right now, three new comics isn't going to get me through a week. I need some more stuff to pick up, so let me know what you're picking up this week down in the comments below, especially maybe some third-party publisher stuff, some stuff that's not Marvel, some stuff that's not DC. Let me uh, Give me some of those indie book shout-outs, some stuff that's off the beaten path, maybe some non-superhero stuff. Let me know. I'm definitely interested in branching out this week. All right. Let's get into the books that I've got on my list this week, and like every week for the past four weeks, I've got Uncanny X-Men number five. This has been a fantastic reintroduction to X-Men for me. I've said multiple times that I've been away from X-Men comics for a long time. They're always one of my absolute favorites. Um, you can't see them, they're off screen here, but I got a bunch of X-Men action figures on the wall. A huge percentage of the comics in the, in the boxes behind me are X-Men. I've been absolutely loving this series. I was a little wary of it at first, given that it was a weekly uh, book for 10 weeks. I was like, oh, is this just a sales ploy? Is it going to be worth it? Blah, blah, blah. And it probably is a sales ploy, but at this point, it's absolutely worth it. I've loved being able to go into my shop, pick up this book every week. The story's been incredible. I love the characters. I love the team. Uh, last week, we got some good answers as to what's going on. Looks like Nate Gray, uh, X-Man from the Age of Apocalypse storyline, wants to reshape the world in his image, kind of pull a uh, second coming of the Messiah type thing. Um, so I'm very interested to see where this next book takes us as we're reaching the midway point of this disassembled storyline. Cannot wait for it. Now, Next up is a book I am super excited for because the previous storyline has been, was absolute garbage. I thought it was, like I said, garbage. It was filler. I got almost nothing out of it. I felt it was poorly written, but I am super excited for Detective Comics 994. Um, I'm going to throw this up on the screen here for you. Just a quick blurb about what this book is about. Commissioner Gordon calls in the Dark Knight detective when there's a murder at the Gotham City Aquarium staged to look exactly like Thomas and Martha Wayne's crime scene, right down to the playbill and pearls. How does this bizarre homicide tie into the shadowy monster that attacks Dr. Leslie Tompkins? This creature looks to wage war on Batman, and it's using Joker gas to do it. Now, that sounds absolutely fantastic. One... It sounds like we're going to get a good detective story from Detective Comics, which is something we should always get. Two, it's written by Peter Tomasi, who is a fantastic comic book writer, and Dr. Leslie Tompkins, I think an underused character in all of Batman media. I love what role she plays, what kind of foil she plays against Batman. I think she should be, you know, one of the, a star player in a lot more Batman media than we get. Um, so I am absolutely excited for this. Like I said, the past six-issue story arc uh, to face-to-face -face in Detective Comics was just filler trash. Um, I don't know why they put that out there. Um, I really didn't enjoy it, but this looks to be absolutely spectacular. I can't wait to pick up this book. I've been waiting for this um, since we got about, uh, sort of about six weeks now. I knew this book was coming. Um, just we had to get through that previous story arc to get to this and check out the banner on this. We're only six issues away from the 1,000th Detective Comics issue. That sounds great. I can't wait for that. Uh, hopefully it's a big blowout, just like they had for Action Comics earlier this year. Can't wait. Now, the third book on my poll list this week is another book I am super pumped for. Another Batman book. Uh, and it's that, and it's Batman Annual Number Three. Now, last year the Batman Annual Annual Number Two is, it's a comic that hit me right in the heart. One of my favorite characters, comic characters of all time, 
is Catwoman. And one of my favorite relationships in comics of all time is the relationship between Batman and Catwoman. And last year's Batman Annual was so sweet, so heartfelt, so emotional. I was sitting at my kitchen table reading it, and I cried a little bit. It was so powerful. My wife looked at me, she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, read this. You need to understand. And she finished it and was like, oh. So Batman Annual 3 has some big, big shoes to fill. And let's, uh, just like Detective Comics, let's read the blurb about what this is about. The other side of the penny. Alfred Pennyworth has been Batman's most trusted ally and confidant since the Dark Knight first hit the streets of Gotham City. Now, witness Batman's battle for justice from Alfred's perspective and learn how harrowing that journey has been as Batman experiences one of the worst nights Gotham City has ever seen. A night that will push Alfred to the breaking point. Best-selling writer Tom Taylor presents an epic tale that promises to be one of the most Alfred stories ever told. Now, I love Alfred. He's a fantastic character. I especially love it when he is uh, a sassy Alfred. Um, sassy Alfred is the best Alfred. So hopefully we get some of that out of this book. But it also feels like we're going to get a very paternal story out of this. For all intents and purposes, Alfred Pennyworth is Bruce Wayne's father. Yes, Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne were his parents, but they died. And from that point forward, Alfred Pennyworth is the man that raised Batman. So to see this character, to see a Batman story through the eyes of this character, to see the kind of hurt, the emotion that he goes through, probably watching body cams or being the, um, the, the quarterback sitting in the chair for a Batman adventure on what is described as one of the worst nights in Gotham, to see his anxiety from a parental standpoint looks to be something that's absolutely fascinating. And I hope we get some of those big, heartfelt, emotional moments in this book, just like we did in Batman Annual 2, just from Alfred's perspective. Absolutely can't wait. So I'm super excited for all three of these comics on my list this week. Uncanny X-Men 5, Detective Comics 994, and Batman Annual number 3. But again, what's on your pull list? Let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time here at the channel, thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.